Because I think we're getting some questions as we speak here. 651-989-9226. If you have a short sale question, today's your day. You can send a text, too, for that matter, at 81807. Let's go to the phones. Tom is first up here calling from Vadnais Heights. Uh, Tom, you're on CCO. Thank you. Hi. Uh, It's my day. Uh, We've been working on a short sale since April. Uh, Two lenders. uh, The house, the property has gone through the sheriff's sale. And um, I was foreclosed on the pri- the first mortgage company bought the property for the amount of the outstanding obligation. Uh, I'm a, a broker, and my it's a personal property. It's property for personal use. I, do, I really don't get involved in residential too much and nor short sales. Uh, it seems like the second lender is holding up the approval. Could you explain why they would do such a thing? Well, I, the, the main reason usually is is that the second lender is not really going to get anything or very little out of the the sale itself. They get a small two to five thousand dollars out of the sale proceeds, so they're more looking at the borrower. And does the borrower have the ability to repay a portion of the loan in the future? And in Minnesota, they have the right to still collect from the borrower even after a short sale or a foreclosure, unless, unless of course, it's in the short sale it's been negotiated so that you don't owe the second mortgage lender. I was going to say that's a fantastic point you brought up there, Jeff, is the negotiating through those seconds or any other junior lien holders, it is important to settle those and working with those guys. Because sometimes, like you're saying, they won't accept the 1% of the purchase price and they want $10,000 or something outrageous. It, it depends. Every bank is different and uh, everyone has different motivations. And as soon as you try to try to make sense, it doesn't. So just be diligent, um, consistently persistent with your offer, and uh, don't let it sit for very long without uh, getting updates on that file. Absolutely. And and sometimes it this is where we look at is this the right? Is the short sale the right thing for the for for the borrower? If they have substantial other debt, maybe they should have a bankruptcy consultation to see if that's a better course. Uh, because if even with the short sale, if they still are going to be so far upside down they can't survive financially, maybe bankruptcy is the option at that point. Six five one nine eight nine nine two two six for your real estate related questions, especially if it's involving a short sale. Six five one nine eight nine nine two two six. Alan is calling from uh, South St. Paul. Let's get Alan. Alan, you're on CCO. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. I have a question. I bought a house two years ago on a short sale. Um, the owner or the seller then uh, moved out of the country, and I found out when I got a letter from the taxation department that there's a 15 by 100 foot piece of land that the man never homesteaded. How can I go about getting this piece of property? So, Alan, you, you say that he didn't homestead it. Do you mean that he didn't actually he didn't actually own that piece of property, or he he did? I found out when I went to the county, uh, he had two pieces of property um, in a development behind us. There was a fifteen foot section that was annexed onto all the homeowners in this group, and, and that part was never actually deeded to you in the closing. Correct. Well, I, I guess I would go back to looking at uh, what what was actually stated in your purchase agreement was it the intent that you bought that that parcel if it was it could be a, a something to go back to the the closing the closing office um, if you bought owner's title insurance that would be a maybe you have a claim on that policy uh, those would be some things I would check into absolutely good point Jeff all right, we have to take a quick break. We have much more of another half hour of the show to come here. So if you do have a real estate question, especially involving a short sale, 651-989-9226 or 866-989-9226. Back with more here on 830-WCCO.